what's happening. So Regis Progre beats Tyra McKenna in the sixth round. Regis Progre actually looked good in this fight. He actually looked good in this fight. He's a good fighter. Very good fighter. One of the things that surprised me, or well, it didn't surprise me, but it's crazy to see, is a shorter fighter being able to utilize the jab effectively against such a tall fighter. I don't know how tall McKenna is, but it just shows you the skill set. And not only that, but I think that Tyron McKenna, I know he fought on the inside and I really feel like he should have tried to fight on the outside, pumping out the jab. Maybe he doesn't have the ability to do so effectively. I seriously thought that his success, if he was going to succeed in this fight, would be being on the outside, maybe going on the inside momentarily, letting a few combinations go. He's got fast hands, but he was fine on the inside and he was getting beat up. He was getting beat up. He had some success and he has got fast hands and he was landing and he actually connected a few times on pro game. However, it wasn't enough and... Ultimately, Regis Progre, his his inside his inside work is very very good. I mean, against Josh Taylor, that was on display, and that's Josh that's Josh Taylor. He gave, I would say, and I've watched Josh Taylor a number of times. I would say that apart from Jack Catterall, and I thought that Jack Catterall won that fight. And I don't think it was like I don't think it was a wide margin to Jack Catterall, but I think it was reasonably clear that Jack Catterall beat Josh Taylor. Can't see how people would give it to Josh Taylor, but let me just say, apart from Jack Catterall, who I thought beat Josh Taylor, whenever I've watched Josh Taylor fight, I would say that Regis Progre gave Josh Taylor his hardest fight outside of Jack Catterall, who I thought beat Josh Taylor. So that just shows you, I and mean, Josh Taylor, I know he's getting a lot of criticism now. I know he's getting a lot of criticism. He's a top fighter. He is a top fighter. I know Jack Catterall beat Josh Taylor. However, every fighter can have an off night. And... Josh Taylor still is more proven at the top level than Carroll. That's just a fact. That's just a fact. Until Carroll goes in there and fights Ramirez, until he goes in there and fights Boranchek, until he goes in there and fights... What's that guy's name? Martin. Was it Ryan Martin? Until he goes in there and fights Proge, until he goes in there and fights... All of these top fighters, Taylor is still more proven than Catterall. So, Taylor being as good as he is, and he is very good, that can't, you know, you, you need to remember that despite his last performance. Proge on the inside was having multiple success, multiple successes against Taylor. So, Proge is the real, he's, he's for real, you know, he's real. And on the inside, he fights excellently. So McKenna having the height and reach that he has, and his team must know what Pro Gray can do on the inside. I'm surprised that Tyron McKenna made it made a point of fine on the inside with him. That was only going to most likely end in one way. The fight actually got stopped, I believe, by a cut around the eye of McKenna. The fight was only going to go one way. And, you know, McKenna being down in the fight. So, ultimately, quite conclusive, you know, it, you know, quite conclusive win for Progre. Now, Progre, I heard it was an eliminator of sorts. And I think that Progre, I think that him against Boranchek, that's a good fight. Although Boranchek, he got knocked out by Sapida, didn't he? I think Regis Progre, I'd like to see him in there with Boranchek. I'd like to see him in there with Sapida. I'd like to see him in there with 
who else? Who was that guy that um, that's really annoying? I forgot the guy's name that Josh Taylor um, beat. His name it begins with a P as well. Um, ah, I forgot that guy's name. That's really annoying. But there was another guy who gave Josh Taylor a good fight, uh, an older fighter. Someone in the comment section, let me know who that is. It's really annoying. That I forgot his name. I'm gonna remember it after this video, but. I want to see Regis Progre in there with the top lightweights, you know, at 140. So, and here's another one. Jack Catterall versus Regis Progre. Because Jack Catterall, it was a great performance, but was it a one-off? Was it a one-off? Because I watched Jack Catterall and he struggled against lower-level opposition. And he went in there and, and beat Josh Taylor, let's keep it real. He beat Josh Taylor. So... But was it a one-off? Was Josh Taylor having an off night and did Jack Catterall pu pull off a one once in a lifetime performance against Josh Taylor? Maybe, maybe not. So, Pro Gray versus Jack Catterall. If Jack Catterall can go in there and um, perform the way he did against Josh Taylor, then that will make it certain that Jack Catterall is a top level lightweight. But then Regis Pro Gray, you know, he, can, he has an opportunity if there were belts on the line to go in there and get those belts that he couldn't get against Josh Taylor. So Regis Progre looked good, you know, respect from um, respect to McKenna for going in there. And uh, let's see, let's see what happens with Regis Progre. Let's see what happens with McKenna. I like to see Progre versus all those lightweights that I mentioned, including Catterall. And let's see what happens. So let me know what you think. What did you think of the fight? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and I'll see you on the next video.